save the queen because we don't like the British in this. Let's play. That was not like that. I was trying to save it there at the end, but it was just, it was already gone. So anyways, guys, welcome back to the Indian Let's Play. I'm here just doing my usual stuff. Being India, causing mischief. Though I'm not really doing much. Like, I'm not really doing much at all. In fact, I'm probably just gonna, you know what? I, hmm. I think I made a subconscious decision just now without you guys knowing. I'm just gonna skip a lot of today's episode because I already showed you guys a boring episode what I do when I'm just like chilling out but I don't want to keep this boring so I'm just gonna skip a lot of this and just wait until I have an event so you know what I'll see you guys in a little bit bye time skip okay guys we are back and I'll get advanced construction so I can get the utmost of that and now we're gonna get cosplay against Khalid and oh to get my infamy down to the point where I want it to be I released the, the nation of Leh only because, like, I have no cores on it. It has nothing to offer me in terms of resource value. And it honestly is just wasting space. It also helped me slightly to increase my uh, literacy rate. So, I'm going to definitely use it. So now I'm going to get in Congress, Causes Belay against these guys. Uh, can I take the full amount of infamy? No, I cannot. See how unlucky we are this time. Man, I wish this would go quicker. Oh, it makes me so nervous. And I'm sorry if I'm now talking. I'm now really concentrating on this. Even though it's a very simple thing. I'm now really concentrating. Because I'm going to attempt the fate. I just need to get below 50% and then I'm good. No! What are you talking about? I'm not trying to get a causes bell against Khalid. It's not like I'm writing papers here saying that we own Khalid or something. What are you talking about? That that does not help. That set me back like ten days. Uh well, once we get an event that would counteract that, I think we'll be good. So nervous. -y. So nerve wracking. Alright. Right. Do 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 now that I have what I wanted, I really don't care what the rest of the war score is. Now I'm going to move my troops around here. So I can start preparing for my invasion. Press forward. Oh, and they're coming for us, everyone! I know those new good colleagues are coming for us. I know some way, somehow they're coming for us. I know they're coming for us. They're coming for us. They're coming for us from the mountains. They're coming for us from the air. They're coming for us from the underground region of the city of Utopia that we know as Kansas. Yeah! That's what I'm talking about, because they're coming for us! Prospector, I love you. <laughs> you bring so much joy to my life. Uh, yes you do. Yes you do, Prospector. Don't ever die. Don't ever die. Like, you, you would be... It'd be the saddest thing in the world if that Prospector were to die, and... Oh, I should probably mention, in that amount of time, I had to delete my alliance with China because they went to war with Russia. And, but right now they're winning. That's only because Russia hasn't really engaged really in this war. And it should be start losing in a little bit. I also got an alliance with Persia now, which is kind of awesome. So Persia is not helping in this war. Why? Man, I really got I really got to get better alliances with people. They these it feels like everyone betrays me in the end. Oh, it's 2.3. That's really nice. It means I don't have a lot of infamy fight the disease. Means I won't have a lot of infamy for a very long time. And, you know, judging by this, I should be able to get the next thing which I'm going to get, which is, I think, oh, like, twice, dude? Twice. You're awesome. So, let's do this. 
So we have we're about at 1,000 right now. So let's see where we are at once we finish this war. Ah, oh, dang. Does Bakura have any troops? Yeah. How do they do? How do they have troops? Go send some troops to go make sure we block Bakura. I can wait a little bit. I mean, my cut. I I really have to. I have to always make sure I don't die on this part, but. My cradle, my cradle senses are tingling, saying I will not run out of this cosplay for a little bit. So, go put some troops over here, protect this region. Mhm. Mm That's how we do it. And then, once I have this, then I'll have an entire block of just India, just solid, just solid India, just right up here. And then I, ha then after this, I'll have to start focusing eternally. What if I can go to war with Tibet over? Oh, I can. Ooh. I don't know what this little region is, but I totally want to go to war with it. Just because I can. And probably another conquest causes Bella I would not be bad. And I know a lot of people are thinking maybe it would be. Okay, so let's do this at both the simultaneous time. I'm gonna declare war on you. Conquest. Okay. And then over here. I'm going to restore order. Now, of course, I shouldn't wait. Make sure that they don't have any big allies. No, they don't. Good. I swear this was like a region of Tibet. They didn't, they didn't revolt for me, did they? No, no, no. I'm pretty sure. That they've probably always been there. I've just... This is the first time I take notice of them. Okay, you guys go over here. Alright. You guys go over here. Start conquering. Okay, well, they're not quite in their lines yet. You guys, go this way. You guys, go this way. Okay, seems like seems like my arts nemesis, the Bakurians, did not join in. Which is a good sign that we're going to be able to win this. Oh, shoot. One thing I do have to do, though, before I forget and then ultimately kill all my soldiers. Let's, let's do that. So I am once an alliance. Hmm. I'll think about it. But my soldiers are going to move up here. Yeah, we definitely need, once we get rare weights, I think this is going to be a much easier way. Work harder! Are you kidding me? You guys do not get paid enough for this job. Okay, so they're all dead. Okay, so this should, this should be a pretty easy invasion. And I'm not really worried about, I'm not really worried about Buton ever being able to finish me off. Just, I have a feeling it's never going to happen. They're, they're going to probably die before they even do that. Okay, but we can go... Let's go send these guys back over there. Well, I win two simultaneous wars at the exact same time, giving me probably a huge bonus to my conquest. Now that I have 100% in both. You finished? So let's see. Our policies right now is 1,600. Let's see what we're at at the end of this. Okay, let's see. What am I at? 2,000. Alright, that got me 2,000 points. Okay, now go over here and go conquer their land. Okay, you guys finish off this, you guys go over here, oh actually we just need to stay right here. Actually you guys just go into our land then, we don't need to actually stay in this land. Okay. Wow, wow, this is going to feel so nice to get this little bulge out of, like once I get this out of here then I'll have a solid border around like my region, like I have, I almost have all of India mapped out, like all of India that I want to own mapped out. Yeah, give me, give me that prestige. Annex? Okay, so... But let me see what we're at right now in terms of this. We're at 2,300. Yeah. 5,000. Wow. Okay, right now, Buton. And now I have a really, really, really nice, like, thing going right here. I'll have you guys move back to the Kappa. Okay. You guys. You guys are going to give up. Yeah. That's what I kind of thought. <laughs> and, wow. We just gained, like, lots of prestige for wars that I didn't really need to fight, but were fun to fight anyways. <laughs> like, that was... That was not that bad. And now the British are starting to, like, take over little places that I'm going to get annoyed by because... Uh, granted this. And, oh my goodness, Russia won. Kind of knew that was coming. And, oh shoot, I should not be supporting my men by this much. 
Zero taxation, maximum tariffs. Zero support, maximum tariffs. That's how we work in this army. Okay, but now, now this looks nice. Like, I, I've, I've basically smoothed out this entire border. Now it looks very, very nice. Now I just need to finish out all of this. All of this gooey mess. Which might take a slightly bit longer. I'm not going to deny, it might take a slightly bit longer. And how is, how is Belgium doing? Do they still, do they still have all this? Yeah, Belgium's still like a prevalent power. At least until I become civilized. Once I become civilized, then they're probably going to be dropping to like last percent because I'm not going to allow them. And which one do I want to get first? I probably want to get this one first so I can start actually doing something with my land. So I can like start building railroads everywhere. It's like, I, I'll seriously build railroads. Like, I have enough money right now to just start building massive amounts of railroad systems. That way, India, unlike India in real day, it actually does have lots of railroads. I'm not gonna be like the British who just like completely ignored India in terms of railroads. I will actually build railroads. Hmm. But yeah, that's my stance on the railroad policy, everyone. Yes, down with something, yes with railroads. Somebody fill in the blanks there for me. Okay, so right now my money is coming in great. Gonna have to hire my defenses just a little bit. Now that we're back to making, okay, uh, right about there. 55 is where I want to be. Uh, no. <laughs> if you guys wanted to know what that was, it's basically chain gang rules, and do I want to support them or do I want to exile them, and I usually say no. <laughs> why, do, why do I care about the chain gangs? I'm not even an uncivilized nation myself, and why do I care about them? I really don't know. <laughs> I mean, in real life, like, you know, have you guys ever noticed that there's a certain way you play games, like, you know, in real life, you'll play the game. In real life, you'll you'll be like against all these things like chain gangs, or you'll be against things like um, you know, taxing your people to the utmost. But in video games, it's just like, eh, yeah, taxing. It's almost like it's almost like an unspoken rule that you have to be a ruthless dictator in these kind of games to just gain ahead. And let's see, oh, we finally at 2.14 percent good, and now we're making still pretty good amount of research. We're gaining ever so slightly more and more, which is good. Over here, daily research is going up. Oh man, we're doing great. We're just doing so great. And I really want to use another cause of spell to conquer something. <laughs> like, now that I have the warlust, it cannot be stopped. Okay. Uh. Okay. Uh. 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 Okay, got it. Yeah, texting my friend, sorry, sorry, texting my friend, sorry, sorry, texting my friend, sorry, sorry, texting my friend, sorry, sorry. Alright, so they have, okay, so right now Burma has just too many alliances. I was, I was actually thinking maybe I should expand my empire to like Burma, but Burma has just too many alliances. If they didn't have the Chinese and the Dainam and the Bhutan and Nepal, man, everyone's just allying against me because I'm just so much of a, a big, gigantic, threatening power at this point. Which is unsurprising. I mean, look at my massive bulge. <laughs> joke there. It's a joke because it implies that. I Never mind. Never mind. I'm not gonna explain jokes to you guys. What am I talking about? You guys are smarter than that. You guys are watching strategic videos. Of course, you guys are smarter than that. Oi. So yeah, I'm going to do 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 do. Wow. This becomes a point where I'm just like, okay, so what do I do now? Ah. Uh, I could play dominoes. Dominoes might be fun. Uh, no, it might take too. Well, this is a strategic game. I'm just gonna be here, just doing nothing for like the next couple hours. But it seems like we are definitely on track to finish up civilizing and doing all that jazz by uh, 18 by 1880. That was my goal about that time, and it seems like we're gonna finish up about that time, which is good. Which is good. I'm still a ninth power in terms of army, so I, I guarantee it won't be that hard to do everything and. Uh, yeah, it would take me about 10 years probably to get back to this point, like to be able to, because I'm going to get the railroad system first, so it'll probably take me another 10 years or 8 years to probably get this back up, which would be fine, because that'll give me enough time to do all that, so, man, I wish I could expand to one more place before I leave, hmm, I'm, tr I'm trying to look at places that'd be e fun to conquer and easy, I'm pretty sure all of Najed and all these places are pretty much guarded up by the, uh, 
conglomeration known as the Ottomans. And finally, a new crisis that does not involve me. Speaking of which, how is this going? Eh, seems like I quelled all rebellions over here, which is good. Over here, though, it seems like there's actually another key debate about whether Greece should be independent. I hope it does become independent. I've actually never, like, in all these times, it seems like the AI never is smart enough to actually do this, like, cool thing called land reforms. I mean, actually get nations big enough. Like, I know how good we did with Poland and how, like, we got Poland to be this big in our French campaign. In this game, though, usually when I'm just watching great powers bicker amongst themselves, they usually can never do anything. They just kind of stay, like, how they are. And it honestly kind of annoys me at some points. Okay. Oh, man, I still want to go conquer. <laughs> like, I I'm just eyeing Burma. I'm just eyeing Burma. I'm just like... Boy, if only you were not independent right now. If only you were... Uh, if only you didn't have your powerful allies with you. I'd be so on your neck. Um, uh, but they have their powerful allies, so I have to kind of respect that. I have to respect their powerful allies, otherwise I'll get... Uh, fine. Whatever. Whatever happens with that situation. Uh... Uh, yes. Okay, my friend's also texting me again. I really gotta stop texting when I'm, when I'm recording. But right now, right now we're in a very much relaxing state. I mean, there's not really, you know, too much going on. So I'll just keep talking while I'm trying to text, which is a skill on itself. I mean, really, you have to really have two minds for what you're about to say. And, yeah, you know, um, yeah, it's really hard to text while you're trying to trying to write. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm failing at this because I'm trying, I'm trying to like almost say the things I'm trying to text. I'm just going to say them right now. Uh, uh, there we go. Okay. There we go. I think I just went through a process, everyone. That was the hardest thing ever, trying to text and trying to talk. Did my friend just answer back just like instantly? I'd be so mad right now. No, he did not. Good. Okay, we're almost there to our initial reform. I think once I get this reform, I think I'm going to end the episode. Because I think this, this was a long enough episode. So, yes! And then, everyone, in how many years? Let's see. If it's 4.8, I'll say 4.5. Because it's basically going to be 4.5 by the time I have it calculated right here. Oi. So, 4.5. So, let's see. So, let's see. We have to divide 4.5 into... Um, oh dang it, I have to go a little bit in the future. It was like six something, wasn't it? Alright, we'll go a little bit into the future and then, and then we'll figure it out. But 4.5 divided into something and then divide, divide that into 365 should get you the answer you want. Basic math helps you kids, basic math helps you. Uh, okay, set the ways. That's gonna take a little bit. But yeah. Do, 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 India. Once we know how many years it will take, then I can definitely just like keep it out speed like five and just relax. Uh, let me see. Almost there. No, I still got like two months. No, three months. Oh, establish protectorate over Johor. Yay, poor Johor. But now the British have just a monopoly over this area. They're just like taking over. Now since they don't have India anymore to keep them like, you know. An established protectorate, uh, I mean, uh, colonized friendly, you know, it's keeping all its budget over here. They actually can actually do other stuff. Now, why did Egypt do a stupid thing by doing just one conquest or one conquest thing? I would have just done a conquest causes battle against Ethiopia and took the entire thing in one gigantic gulp. That's a smart thing to do, but Egypt obviously isn't smart. Okay, but do I finally know how much? 774. Okay, so I'm gonna do death. 700. 704. Sorry. 7704. 7, there we go. Um, divided by 4.5. We get 4.5 now. 4.5 equals equals that, and then divided by that equals this. Okay, so it's approximately going to take us about 4.6 years. 4.7. All right. So anyways, guys, I'll see you guys. I'm going to probably do this for next... This, so then this is now the good time to end the episode. So thank you guys for watching. It was good seeing you guys. We're going to basically do a time skip between episodes. And I'll see you guys in 4.6 or 7 years. 
Alright, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. See you guys next time.